Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorials and today's topic is Strum and Drag Moment. Strum and Drag Moment. So hopefully you know uh, this Strum and Drag Moment but if you don't know, keep on watching the video. I'll try to make you clear about this topic, everything about this topic. So a Strum and Drag Moment. From where it came or uh, uh, it was actually a German moment it was a German moment uh, lasting from the uh, the period if we talk about the period of this moment it was 1760s until the late 1780s uh, 1780s okay so a strong and drunk a drunk moment was a German literary movement lasting from 1760s until 1780s. So now let's come to the next uh, important question about Strom and Drang movement. What is the meaning of this? Uh, these words here, Strom and Drang. So literal meaning of uh, this movement, Strom and Drang, was storm and stress. Storm and stress so these two words you must know about this so it was a german movement uh, lasted uh, between 1760s to 1780s and the meaning of the movement was storm and stress this movement was uh, we can say uh, it was a reaction as i told you in earlier videos as as well uh, every moment in English literature is the reaction to another moment. So you should know these things. It was a reaction to Ace of Enlightenment. I have just uploaded this video and hopefully you have seen uh, Enlightenment moment. So it was Enlightenment moment. It was reaction against. So you should know it was reaction against Ace of Enlightenment. So it was a German moment. Uh, lasted between 1760s 1780s and it the meaning of the moment storm and drang was a storm and stress and this moment was against or uh, it was a reaction against age of enlightenment so these uh, in, these are important things now let's talk about the literature <coughs> literature written during this uh, this period and what it means so first of all uh, we will go through the important work which was written in german language uh, you can uh, write down it die leden des sungen Werther's and it got published in 1774 and if we translate this work into English <clears throat> it was the sorrow of young brother the sorrow of young brother this is a famous work and uh, this was a uh, by the German novelist, poet and playwright Johann Wolfgang Goethe. Johann Wolfgang Goethe. So this work is related to him, 1749 to 1832. Here we can say Goethe was one of the central figure in Sturm and uh, Drang movement. His poem uh, Prometheus is thought to be one of the examples of. Uh, so here is this was the work first work by jo Johann Wolfgang Goethe, and second was his poem, famous poem by uh, by him, Prometheus. Prometheus, 1789. It got uh, uh, published. Here was the, the story of uh, this, in short, this work, the sorrow of young weather, the dialect in this uh, young weathers. Uh, this is in German. I don't know how German language 
you know is pronounced but you can uh, you know pronounce it according to english language here and if we talk about this story who is uh, you know uh, here this story of, of uh, this person whether he is protagonist he was a young artist and he was intentionally emotional in his daily uh, life this is worsened when he falls from his uh, new friend and beautiful charlotte who is engaged uh, to be married to another man albert despite charlotte's unavailability whether cannot help but love her so because of his intense emotional uh, emotional life or being emotional uh, he was tortured here now we will go for uh, next one so here is a poem uh, here poem related to this uh, moment storm and uh, drang moment so the name of the poem is lenore and this got published in 1773 uh, and this poem is by this was composed by gottfried august burger august burger 1747 to 1794 the poems revolves around the pain and torment of lenore so here the protagonist on the story of uh, story of lenore and the character goes through pain and torment and a young woman whose uh, fiance william has not returned from the seven years war so this is the background of uh, this poem now let's come to the next part of this if we talk about uh, storm and uh, storm and drang moment in english now uh, we don't find any english speaking uh, country where uh, this was going on so it was only germany or in german language this storm storm it is not a storm but it is a storm and drang moment drang moment in english so we talk about all these things this is a basic knowledge and it was not a big moment only a few uh, uh, people were there here you can uh, write down it storm and drang moment so hopefully i the idea about uh, uh, this uh, short moment is clear to you and it will help you to understand literature better uh, if uh, this topic helped you please like the video and share it with others thank you for watching see you